what is the age of the universe? Apparently there is a contradiction that cannot be bridged because according to our tradition, the Jewish counting begins from the dawn of human history, 5,785. On the other hand, according to science, the age of the universe today is between 13 and a half billion years to 15 billion years. How can such a gap be bridged? But the answer is simple. First, our counting begins from Adam, the first man, during the creation days. Time flowed differently back then than it does today. Einstein discovered in the theory of relativity that time changes. For example, if we take twins, both of them are 20 years old. One twin stays with us here, and the second twin is sent up in a spaceship, traveling at 300,000 kilometers per second. After 40 years, he returns from his space journey and lands with us. The twin who stayed here is now 60 years old, and you can clearly see the changes in his face, wrinkles. It turns out that the person who was in the spaceship gets off looking like a 20-year-old. For him, only a few minutes passed. It sounds bizarre, but it is scientifically proven. Today, it is scientifically proven that someone traveling at such a speed experiences time differently, says Rabbi Dessler. In his book, Mihtab Eliyahu, he brings the words of the Ramban and writes that the simple meaning of the text, explained according to our understanding, is that we perceive days as hours and moments. But according to the essence of the matter, meaning its inner reality, it is a completely different perception. It was written in a way that we could understand, six days. In short, the six days of creation, time flowed in a completely different way than it flows today. Our counting begins from Adam, meaning Adam was born and started the counting. I am one day old, I am one week old, I am one month old, I am one year old. Now we have started the second year and every person can trace all of history from Adam until today. We have names, places who wrote books. Every detail of history is known exactly for 5,785 years. So what about the billions that scientists talk about? If they are right, you are talking about billions, but they are included within the six days of creation. So there is no contradiction because our counting starts from Adam. However, now it seems that it is not at all clear that they are right when they talk about billions. Professor Banova claims that all the billions the scientists talk about is one big mistake, and their mistake stems from the fact that what they are doing is extrapolation. Extrapolation means that you take current data and use it to calculate the past or the future. Does anyone know the size of a kangaroo when it is born? The red kangaroo, Joey, is born with a length of two to three centimeters and weighs about one gram. By the age of one, Joey multiplies its weight by 5,000 and weighs about five kilograms. By the age of two, it is fully grown, standing about two meters tall and weighing about 55 kilograms, and it lives up to 22 years. Just as we grow to a certain age and then stop, the kangaroo stops developing between the ages of two and 22. Let's take a student who has never heard of a kangaroo. We give him the newly born creature, which weighs one gram. He will feed it, give it water, and take care of it. And after a year, he will weigh it and write down his conclusions. By the age of one, what is written in his journal? The creature has multiplied its weight by 5,000, starting as one gram. And now it weighs five kilograms. Now, what happens if the student thinks to himself, I won't follow this creature for 22 years. One year is enough, but I need to submit a research paper. What will the creature weigh at the age of 22? The student thinks, what's the problem? I followed it for a year and saw that in one year, it multiplies its weight by 5,000%. He then takes a calculator and does the math. He submits his research paper with accurate calculations. What will be written in it after a year of monitoring and precise calculations? He will prove that a 22-year-old kangaroo weighs. Does anyone know how to read this number? What is the student's mistake? He acted according to extrapolation. Professor Bonova says, that this is the mistake made by scientists who arrived at their billions. All of this calculation of billions is correct and it is based on calculations and mathematics. But ask the scientist, tell the truth, were you there during the creation 15 billion years ago? Do you remember that? No, I wasn't, but I did tests. The tests you conducted are similar to the students, even from a scientific perspective. If someone does not want to include God in the picture, the pace of what happened then, everything developed rapidly. You don't need to reach five or 10 billion years. Development happens quickly, and then there is a halt. You cannot learn from today what happened back then. In fact, Professor Bernova's words are written in our sages. In the Talmud, Tractate Hulin, it is written, 
Every act of creation was created in its full form. When the first man was created, how did he look? Like a newborn baby looking for where to nurse. No, he was created as a man, like a 20 year old. The same goes for the lions, bears and trees. When God created a tree, he created it as a fully grown tree. So if a mature tree needs 200 rings or 500 rings, it was created with 500 rings and then added one ring every year. Therefore, when you find more than 6,000 years, it does not indicate its age. We see how today's discoveries are increasingly connecting and uniting with what is written in our Torah. There is no contradiction between them. On the contrary, some people go with the approach. What is the difficulty between science and the Torah? Torah is faith, science is science. This is an incorrect approach. What God wrote in the Torah is something he did for us. If there is a contradiction, it is the science that is wrong, not the Torah. Until the time comes when they will also discover all the data that is already here.